Welcome to the television company Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The 47th session of the Council of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The workshop dedicated to the 10th Francophone Games in Eastern Armenia. Ursula von der Leyen, Putin, Biden and Macron will not participate in COP29 in Baku, Givronus. The fits of the Armenian military, Nayane Hovanisan. Baku completely destroyed Nohenes village of Hadrut region. For a century of the genocide against Armenians, COP29 in Baku was held in the European Parliament. On 3 November, the 47th session of the Council of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. President Ms. Lydia Markosyan welcomed the attendees. A number of issues were highlighted at the meeting, which were discussed by the President Armenia Gabrahamian and highlighted a number of basic issues at the meeting. Mr. Abrahamian talked about the important issues on the current situation in Eastern Armenia. He highlighted some of the reasons for the defeat of the 44-day war and detailed the challenges that arose. Mr. Armenia Gabrahamian recalled the huge work they organized and carried out at the United Nations, noting that they led to a number of positive results. He also informed that the authorities of Eastern Armenia are present at the meetings of the United Nations where important issues are discussed related to the region. During the session, uh, preparatory works related to the budget for 2025 of the Republic of Western Armenia was also discussed. It's currently being organized and will soon be submitted for approval. This session once again emphasizes the mission of the leadership of the Republic of Western Armenia to solve the problems in the region and protect the interests of Western Armenia on international platforms. The workshop of Francophone Games organized by the International Committee has started in Yerevan. The aim is to support the preparation works for the 10th Games of the Francophone in Armenia. The workshop was held yesterday with participation of Daniel Danielian, Deputy Minister of the Ministry of Education and Culture of the Republic of Armenia. This event has a special significance as Armenia will host the 10th Games of Francophone in 2027. The closing ceremony will take place in the Arad Hall of the Armenian Marriott Hotel. A million one address where the entrance is open to the media. For more information, you can contact the organizer of the workshop, Elena Hajanian. The head of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, the president of the Russian Federation, France and the United States, Vladimir Putin, Emmanuel Macron and Joe Biden will not participate in the COP29 to be held in Baku from November 11 up to 22. Sources close to the UN told Euronews about this. White House earlier stated the information about Joe Biden. Representatives of the Yerevan Office of Western Armenia were invited to the premiere of the film dedicated to the revival of Marsha Brotherhood, an exclusive event held in Moscow, which was organized under the leadership of director Karik Makarian and producer Ruben Pashinyan. At the end of the film, Naini Hovanishan, who is the granddaughter of the main character of the film, made a speech thanking for the invitation and emphasizing the importance of the film in terms of the presenting the heroic pages of the Armenian people. The film presented the heroic story of the USSR pilot Vazgen Oganesov. In Naini Hovanishan's speech, the achievements of the Armenian military, which have been made many times in both past and present wars, were emphasized. Armenian soldiers dedicated their lives for the liberation of the motherland, making their name a symbol of freedom and national defense. She also emphasized that the screening of the film is another opportunity to recognize not only the feats of the Armenian military, but also their potential to ensure the survival and defense of the homeland. The village of Mohrenes in the Hadros region was completely destroyed. This was reported by Gerhard Foundation. Let's remind that the region was under Azerbaijan control during the 44-day war of 2020. Vandal activists in Baku are not limited to the destruction of monuments, cemeteries and churches, monasteries. Baku targeted Armenian villages and neighborhoods. Satellite images showed that most of the village houses, schools, kindergarten and other buildings have been destroyed. In total, more than 40 houses and buildings were destroyed and the Church of St. Sarkis in Mohrenes was completely destroyed by October 2022, said the post published on the Facebook page of the Foundation. Studies on the subject of the genocide against Armenians aim to document and analyze the event of 1915 up to 1923, the systematic extermination of the Armenian population in the Ottoman Empire. At the World War II, and especially in the context of the National Awakening and Holocaust studies of the 1960s, the field established itself as an interdisciplinary research field. In 2025, on May up to 29 up to 41, conference will be held in Yerevan to discuss the role of research on the genocide in the field of history, law and politics. 
organizer of Museum Initiative of Genocide Against Armenians, location Yerevan, Armenia. On 5 November, COP29 was held in the European Parliament in Baku, covering ethnic cleansing conference, which was attended by a member of parliament representing various political groups of the European Parliament. Belgian politicians, diplomats, representatives of civil society, journalists and representatives of the Belgian and Armenian community. Lucas Furlas, the host of the conference, the representative of the Republic of Eastern Armenia in the European Union, and Digran Balayan, the Republic of Armenian ambassador to Belgium, delivered the opening speech of the conference. The purpose of the conference was to focus on various issues related to the holding of COP29 in Azerbaijan. The purpose of the conference was to focus on various issues related to the holding of COP29 in Azerbaijan, in particular what impact its hosting in Baku can have for the purpose of this global conference in the context of the developments taking place in the region, especially against the background of the ethnic cleansing of the indigenous Armenian population of Artsakh. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.